Hey guys, this is Chubbs, and today I'm just going to bring you a look at the very last stage in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Now, if you plan on playing this game, uh, I would recommend not watching this video if you want to avoid spoilers, because this is going to show the very last stage, and it's something that's really cool. I don't think you want to spoil it, but uh, for those of you who don't plan on playing it, or who don't own a Wii U, and don't plan on owning a Wii U, this is just going to kind of give you a glimpse at this uh, very cool, unique last level in the game. So, uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is normally kind of a uh, easygoing puzzle game where you kind of rotate the camera around and try and walk around and collect these objects. Uh, some of the stages can get pretty frantic, but for the most part, you know, it's kind of kind of an easygoing type game. Well, this here is a the Mummy Me Maze Forever level is kind of like a roguelike, so it's unlike anything else in the game. It has a, a bunch of randomly generated mazes that you're running through. Uh, and then you have to collect coins and also avoid enemies on your way to the exit. Um, and the entire time you're playing, you're also being chased by your clones, which are copying the same uh, paths that you're taking and the same moves you make. Uh, so that really adds a very uh, frantic element to it. Uh, it's easy to panic and screw up because of that and run into your own clone, things like that. But I'm going to start this level now and uh, just show you guys uh, what it's like. So there's the mummy clone. And when you first start the level, uh, what I would recommend doing is turning off your headlamp or your flashlight. Because in some of the later levels, that's going to alert the enemies to your presence. But as soon as you start moving here on the first level, your clone eventually pops out. There he is. And he will chase you all around the level the entire time. Now, you'll notice he starts getting really close to you, like right there, uh, and then after a few seconds, he'll kind of back off like that, so it's easy to panic once he's like running on your heels, but don't, uh, don't worry about that. Don't think that he's going to catch you, because he never actually does, even though he gets really close. As long as you don't stop or like run into a wall and just run in place, uh, he won't catch you or anything. Um, but just like in New Super Mario Brothers and Super Mario 3D Land and Super Mario 3D World, uh, you can only take two hits before you die. The first hit uh, makes you go into your like small form, and then if you don't collect a mushroom uh, and you get hit one more time, then you die and you lose all of your progress. Uh, at the top of the level, uh, or the top of the screen, I should say, you can see the level that you're on. I'm on level two. There are 50 levels overall. Uh, the 50th level is actually it's kind of like uh, the final level. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but it's just, it doesn't have any enemies on it. I'll just say that. But the levels are randomly generated, so you can't uh, like map it out in your head and then remember how to go through each level the next time you play. It's always going to be different. And that, that really adds an interesting aspect. That's how it's kind of like a roguelike. Uh, Unlike every other stage in this game, it's it's always random. The placement of the enemies, the way that the mazes are, the placement of the coins. It's randomness all the way. What doesn't change, however, is the uh, enemies that you face on the levels and the order in which the bonus levels come. Uh, there are certain uh, bonus stages, like on the 10th level, the 20th level, and the uh, 35th level. You have these kind of bonus areas where you just collect coins and items. Uh, and then I've noticed like every fifth level, uh, unless it, unless the fifth every fifth level ends up on a bonus stage, you have to go up against uh, Magic Koopas and Charging Chucks, the, the football player guys who run at you. Uh, that can get pretty tricky too. So it looks like I took the wrong path there. Uh, something else that changes it up is once you, every ten stages, uh, you get an extra mummy that's chasing after you and that doesn't sound like it would change it too much but later on it gets to where uh, like the the mummies that are in the very back are slower so you'll think that you're going to avoid all of them by uh, running around like I'm doing here but since there's one that's kind of lagging behind you'll actually end up running into him uh, because he's uh, like I said he's kind of lagging and uh, you don't you won't expect to hit him so it can get very tricky. Right now it's really easy because I'm only having to worry about one clone chasing after me. But man, once you get several after you, it gets really, really intense. Something else you'll notice too, these stages here are really easy. All I have to avoid are these piranha plants, which are just uh, 
Uh, they just have that bite attack where they just kind of lunge at you, and they're kind of slow to do it too. So uh, unless you run right into them, it's really easy to avoid them. Um, the enemies do change up though. You'll see that here uh, once I go to this next stage. This stage here that I'm going into is one that has the charging Chuck and the Magic Koopa. So there's Chuck. I'm going to try and not get hit by him. And he will break through the, the uh, bricks as he hits them. I really shouldn't have taken this way because I'm at a dead end here. I, you, you don't want to get cornered against these charging chucks because they will uh, break through the blocks and, and hit you if you do. But now uh, you'll notice that the enemies have changed from piranha plants to these uh, uh, plant-like enemies that come up out of the ground and spit these uh, acorn looking things at you. These aren't too hard to avoid either. Uh, just don't walk in the middle and you'll avoid the acorns. And uh, don't walk into them when they pop up, otherwise you'll get hit. Now what you can do, you can actually walk up to them and pull them up out of the ground like that. Uh, but I don't recommend doing that because number one, you really don't need to. Uh, it's just going to waste time. And number two, if you do it and your mummy clone is close behind you, uh, you'll end up taking a hit from it for, because your uh, mummy clone will run right into you. So, uh, even though the objective is to collect 5,000 coins, you really don't have to uh, waste a lot of time getting every coin on these levels because they're pretty generous about some of the later levels and the bonus stages getting you coins. So you don't have to be like OCD and grab every single coin on every stage and worry that if you don't that you're going to fall behind or anything. Um, just get, get the coins that you want to, uh, and don't be crazy about getting every single coin on every stage. It's, just, it's definitely not required. So I'm just going to go ahead and run to the exit. Uh, I do have some tips, though, for those of you who play this stage and have trouble with it. Um, one thing that I would highly recommend doing is playing with your uh, gamepad only. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just looking down at the gamepad screen. Uh, the reason I say that is on some of these later stages, some of the enemies, uh, especially the shy guys and the fire piranha plants, are very difficult to avoid. Uh, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to tap them on the screen, or you can also put your finger and swipe. And what that'll do is that'll stun them. And even though uh, it, it only stuns them for a short period of time if you don't hold your finger over them, uh, the short time that it does stun them is just enough to get past them. Uh, and the shy guys are very fast too, so you'll want to stun them, that way they won't catch up to you. Now you can also hold down the A button and sprint, but uh, normally you'll want to just walk, which is what I'm doing right now. And that's actually another tip. Uh, unless you're up against a very fast enemy, just walk, otherwise you're... Uh, it's it's going to be tougher, uh, not only because it's going to be more difficult to see ahead before you run into danger, uh, but your your finger is also going to be on the A button the entire time. And that's going to make it more difficult to move the camera around and scan your surroundings. So I'm going to touch this enemy here. Notice that he's stunned. Um, you don't have to you don't have to touch directly on him either. You can actually touch and then swipe down on him, like I'm doing here. Once he pops back up, you'll see that he's stunned. I may have actually stunned him there. But you'll see, I didn't I didn't touch directly on him at first, then I swiped over onto him and it stunned him. So let's move on move ahead to stage 10. This is one of the bonus levels. On these, your mummy's not in here, so you can take your time. And this actually brings me to another interesting point. Uh, one tip that I have is to not do what I just did. Uh, don't grab the pickaxe and then hit all these blocks. Instead, what I recommend doing is pull up all of the plants out of these blocks and get all the items manually. Then, once you've done that, grab the pickaxe and then run through this uh, warp box. And then, as soon as you get into this stage, sprint diagonally upwards to the left and run to the exit. Uh, that is something that's always the same in every level, even though they're randomly generated, is the warp boxes are always in the upper left from your starting position. So now you can see I'm up against some Goombas. But notice that the warp box is always here in the upper left, so that's something that never changes. And I, that was a close call. Notice too that I've got uh, two clones. Whoa! 
It's, it's a good idea too to tap these Goombas because the Goombas are pretty quick as well. You can see I'm tapping them and stunning them. Uh, the Goombas can be pretty tricky, but I do have two clones chasing me now, so it's making it a little bit trickier. And I'm doing some tapping again. Tapping will absolutely save your life against some of the more difficult enemies. If you don't tap them, you're at a big disadvantage. I'm not going to exit here. I'm gonna actually going to grab this pickaxe and kill some Goombas with it and uh, collect some more block from some more coins. I about said blocks. So the pickaxe, it's, it's almost like an invincibility item, uh, and it also allows you to kill enemies and to chop your way through the level. So I can't stress enough how uh, important they are. Now you can also use the pickaxe to kill your clones as well, but they don't stay gone forever. After a few seconds, they'll come back and, uh, and eventually start chasing you again. So I'm not going to get all those other coins. Let's just move ahead. So now, remember how I said every five stages, if it's not a bonus stage, you're up against Charging Chucks? Well, here we are again. Now we've got two Charging Chucks coming after me. And I just made a mistake by cornering myself there. I'm going to try and reach the end of this level without getting hit. It gets really tricky when you have two of them after you. Whoa, that was a close call there. It's going to be a, it's going to be a close call here at the end. Looks like I made it, though. All right, moving ahead. Now we've got booze. Uh, now your flashlight, if you had it on, it can kill the booze technically, but in order to do that, oh boy, I just made a mistake. I took the wrong path. Uh, in order to kill the booze, you have to stand and look at them for quite a bit. And remember what I said earlier, you don't want to stand still ever. So don't even worry with your flashlight. Just leave it off because uh, once you go up against these shy guys here later on, the flashlight will make them detect you and they're they're fast enemies you really don't want to detect them if you don't if you can uh, get past them undetected so leave your flashlight off and just run from the booze plus if you look at the booze directly it stuns them anyways notice how they turn red and kind of stop so you really you really don't need your flashlight at all just turn it off and leave it off looks like i took the wrong path again these boo stages are some of the trickiest ones though the booze the Shy Guys and the Fire Piranha Plants are the most difficult enemies for me. Uh, and the, uh, the the later stages with a whole bunch of Charging Chucks can get really, really intense too. So we're just about to make it to the next bonus stage. Again, the bonus levels are on level 10, 20, and 35. So here we go. So I'm going to do the strategy that I told you about earlier. I'm going to grab all these items here manually. And this is a kind of a tedious process. What I'm going to do though, since this is just a demonstration video, I'm not even going to grab all these items. I'm just going to try and hunt for the uh, mushrooms. They're usually in the middle of these patches. There we go. There's one of them. I'm not even going to bother with everything else, but get all the coins and stuff. Pull up all the items. And then, like I said, grab the pickaxe, take off running, get it, go through the warp box. And then just run diagonally. You'll see I'm up against the fire piranha plants now. But run diagonally until you get to the exit. And that's a free pass to the next level. Now, when you're up against these fire plants, you'll want to use the tap feature like I'm doing right now. And tap them and stun them. If you don't, they are really hard to avoid. They will kill you if you don't do that. And I just took the wrong path again. It's, it's, it's quite tricky to take the... Uh, the right path to the exit. Sometimes it's tough to tell which way leads to the exit, which way uh, leads to a dead end. But I'm just gonna keep going here and see how far I can make it. I don't have a whole lot more to say about this uh, level, but uh, it is very cool, I think. And I, well, I thought I took a, the wrong pathway. I actually took the right one though. But you can see just how easy this stun is making this for me. Took the, took the wrong way. I almost ran into one of my clones there. I've got three of them after me. Again, every, uh, every ten levels you get an extra clone coming after you. More charging chucks. Every fifth level, if it's not a bonus level. I almost took a hit there. I've got three of them after me on this one. 
they are very the charging chucks are very fast so if you get on a level with them just sprint hold down the sprint button that's one of the few times you want to sprint and get to the exit and here's the shy guys they are very fast uh, if they get after you uh, sometimes you'll want to sprint other times if you can't avoid them you just want to touch them and stun them otherwise it's not going to end well for you I'm not sure which no this is not the right way let's go this way sometimes you can get past them like I did there and this was an easy stage to beat that one saw me so I can't avoid him really so I'm just going to stun him here's a pickaxe this is a pretty much a free pass to beat the level I'm going to kill all the shy guys that I can and just grab some points here at the end I killed my clones too notice that they're not there anymore but you'll see them reappear here so they don't stay gone forever unfortunately but it's it is nice to have them gone just for a few seconds so we're moving on up there again there are 50 levels in this stage in all uh, and we're on level 29 now so we're getting close to the end I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat it in this video here I didn't even plan on making it this far because uh, it had taken me a really long time to beat this level it took me uh, at, at least 10 attempts maybe more than that to beat it it's it's really challenging and I, I just barely slipped past that shy guy this one saw me but I'm gonna touch him and stun him and then move on again don't stress out over getting every coin because if you do it's gonna kill you especially in these later levels where these enemies are tough to avoid you don't want to spend too much time screwing around grabbing coins because you just want to get to the exit I want to stress that as much as possible if you uh, if you're OCD about collecting these coins, it, it will come back to haunt you. So we're moving right on ahead. We're at level 31. Now we're up against bullet bills. Now you can actually tap these and stun them as well uh, if they're going to hit you. So uh, once, they're, once they fire them out, if, if you are about to run into a path of one, you can tap it and hold your finger on it and then run past it. So we're getting some easy pass to the end of the levels here. Sometimes the random number generator will be on your side like it has been so far. Other times you'll end up with these level layouts that are uh, really tough to get through uh, where it places deadly enemies right in your path and it's really hard to find the exit. So far though, I've really lucked up. I've gotten the pickaxe, uh, some fairly easy paths to the end of the level. So far it's, it's really been a cakewalk. I've not even taken a single hit yet. Uh, at least I don't think I have. And this is the wrong way. You'll notice uh, there's an item I didn't mention here that I'm going to run up to. We'll be coming right up on it here. Right here, you'll notice there's a golden mushroom. This gives you 50 coins when you collect it. So that's really handy for uh, increasing your coin count. But don't uh, stress out over getting that. Like if you see it in a level and danger's coming your way, uh, if, if it's, if it's going to get you hit, don't get it. Just don't worry about it. Because like I said, they are very generous uh, about giving you coins here in these later stages. Uh, remember, the goal is uh, 5,000 coins. And I'm already coming right up on 4,000. And we're only on level 35 out of 50. So reaching the coin count for the objective is, no bi is really no big deal. The big deal is getting to the end because some of these later levels get really tough. So I'm going to use the strategy that I told you guys about. Get everything manually. Don't get the pickaxe and do it. Then use the pickaxe to uh, quickly get to the end of this level. And there's a gold mushroom. I'm going to collect it on my way. And Oh, man, I ran right into my clone there. That was a stupid mistake. Now if I get hit one more time and I can't find a mushroom, then it's over. So let's see how far I can make it. Oh, that was close. I just about ran into that guy. It's getting tricky now. I took the wrong path. Notice now I'm up against these plant guys again, only there's two in a row, which makes them significantly trickier to get past. If they're down in the ground, though, and they haven't come up, you can run past them. So that makes it a little bit easier. Let's see. I took the wrong path again. The camera angle makes it tough to kind of tell. You can you can move the camera around, but it still can be pretty tough to tell. It looks like I've got a fourth mummy after me now too. 
So I've got uh, four clones coming my way. All right, we're getting close to level 40. I was thinking about going down there and getting that mushroom, but you know what? I'm just going to go to the end of the level. Screw it. I'm not going to risk it. Level 40. Charging shut time. Oh, God. Oh, they got me. I, I screwed up. I panicked and backtracked. I should have, uh, probably should have kept going. Well, we made it a pretty good ways. We had close to 5,000 coins, but it was close, but no cigar. But uh, that should give you guys an indication of how you can beat this level. Uh, just take your time. Uh, tap enemies to stun them like I did. Uh, if you see coins that are that that you want to go grab but that will lead you to danger don't don't do it don't risk it just focus on getting to that upper left hand corner of the stage where the warp box is but uh, yeah this is really cool it has a lot of replay value since there's a uh, uh, randomly generated mazes and since the placement of the enemies and the coins is different and you can also kind of challenge yourself and see how many coins you can get uh, before you reach the end of the level um, but yeah, this is uh, the last stage in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. For me, it was a real surprise. I didn't expect this, uh, but I, th I think they did a great job with it. It's a pretty cool way to end a phenomenal game. In my opinion, this is right up there with Super Mario 3D World. Just a great game overall. If you own a Wii U, I would highly recommend grabbing it. It's well worth the $40, and uh, yeah, it's just a, just a fantastic game all around. So... Thank you guys for watching. If, if uh, you own this game and this helps you out, uh, let me know. If you have any other questions about it, let me know as well. But, uh, this is Chubbs signing out.